I'm Molly. And I'm Will. And, and welcome, welcome to Broad Oak Primary School. School. For the past few weeks we've been making a DVD about our move to high school, exploring what we're going to expect when we move there. We will be interviewing teachers, peer mentors and Year 7 pupils. But first, let's see what the Year 6 pupils have to say about this transition. Um, yeah, I'm really excited because like there's lots of different subjects there and you can meet different people and new people to have new friends, so yeah, I'm really excited. Yes, yeah, I'm ex excited about going to high school because I'll meet new friends and uh, I'll meet new people. It's a chance for me to um, meet new friends and just do different things. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about going to high school because I meet lots of new people and um, the lessons will be better. I think I'll get lost a lot of times, but after a while I think I'll fussle in and know where I'm going. It's going to be hard, but um, I'll probably get used to it after a while but I don't think it'll take me that long. I think I'll get lost sometimes, but I can just ask, like, year 10s or 11s to ask where I'm going, so I might be a bit scared. It is, like, scary because it's, like, a massive school, but, like Katie said, it's, like, people will help you go around the school, so... Um, I think that on the first few weeks it'll be quite difficult because, obviously, I don't know my way around, but I think, like, after the first few weeks, I think I'll know my way around a lot more because I'll be used to it. Yeah, I suppose it'll be fun. I pretty not much know everybody in my head school, so I don't think it's going to be that different. We are now going to Moorside High School to get a first-hand view from the Year 7 pupils. We are also going to be in the peer mentors that have assisted the Year 7 pupils. On the first day when I got there, um, I I just had my friends, it was okay, but when I met my new friends, it was good. Um, I felt nervous, but like when I came into form, I met like my peer mentors and like, all the other people I'll be with throughout the year, so I kind of felt more comfortable. There's loads of other things you can do at high school. There's more languages and stuff, and there's extracurricular activities and sports and like history and geography and lessons. Well, they, get, they make you more independent, like, so you've got to look after yourself and they put more activities on at dinner and break. Um, a learner mentor is a very important job. It's a job which I work through primary and high school. Um, I help children um, achieve targets and work with them along the journey to, journey to break down barriers. Um, I help people uh, pupils set into high school. I go around the primaries before um, they come up to Moorside. And we do all sorts of exercises together about um, joining Moorside and looking through the planner. I take some of my peer mentors with me, which are older children in the school. Um, they um, get to know the ki um, children, build relationships, um, just get all the children involved in as many activities as they can so they're as happy and most hard as they could be. The role of a peer mentor is to help the year sixes from primary school settle into high school and to make the transition between primary and high school smooth and fun. Yeah, I believe we help the year sevens settle in as they feel more confident now in high school. As, um, the journey to high school um, is always um, quite scary for some, some pupils and I like to make it as, run as smooth as possible. Lessons at Moorside are 50 minutes. Oh, you'll be doing all sorts of uh, different things on induction day. You'll be able to come in and do maths, IT, English, languages, all the humanities like history, geography, whilst at the same time doing some more fun things as well. The trips we provide are a trip to Burr's Activity Centre, which is real uh, fun when you go out kayaking or go on orienteering, climbing rock walls, you name it, we, they do all sorts on those. Then there's also a PGL uh, weekend as well, which they get to go away on, but there are all sorts of other events throughout the year and over the further years beyond Year 7. I love teaching science at Merseyside. Um, we've got a fantastic science department. Um, we always do fantastic experiments, um, and the pupils are, are really good at them. So um, it's really good. Right, so I'm not going to give too much away because I don't want to spoil it, but you will be doing um, lots of forensic science. So you'll be working with the police, um, doing some forensic science, some DNA. Um, you'll also be doing uh, work with animals. We've got a company coming in that brings some snakes and tarantulas and giant millipedes and things in. You also do some dissections. 
so we've got some heart some eyes to dissect um, lots of explosions as well so really exciting um, my advice would be when you come to the science department just be ready to do anything give everything a go uh, I absolutely love teaching maths. Uh, maths is my favourite subject in school and at university and I love finding new and exciting ways to find maths in everyday life. Um, I teach Key Stage 3 which is years 7, 8 and 9 and I teach uh, Key Stage 4 as well which is 10 and 11. Um, yeah, I do try and make my lessons really exciting and looking at uh, new things that they might not think is maths and sort of bringing it in that way, so yes. My subjects are drama and expressive arts. I'm a drama specialist, but we also teach expressive arts, which is kind of a mixture of everything as well. We have drama, music, and visual art. We do loads of productions at Moorside. Last year we did Wizard of Oz. We've done Bugsy Malone. We've done Oliver. This year we've actually done a big production. We've done lots of smaller productions using children from both key stages, key stage three and key stage four, to give everyone an opportunity to do some performances. We did one last week and we saw 175 people in the hall, so that was excellent. We have loads of extracurricular activities. In drama, we've got a drama club on a Tuesday lunch. We do lots of performance evenings for the um, GCSE students. Art do an art and design club and a ceramics club. And music, we've got a samba band and a choir. Um, I teach all sports but I particularly like volleyball. Okay, We are national champions at volleyball and we do quite a lot of it at our school. We're good at rugby as well. Um, we've won some volleyball trophies. We are under 16 rugby champions boys so when you come to more sides that's what we're good at as well. What advice would I give them? I would, I would say get involved. Get involved in everything that possible that you can do, not just during lessons but outside lessons as well. The more you're involved, the more fun you're going to have. Good question. What plans do I have for the future? Well, obviously there's a new school coming along in three years' time, so that's really exciting, having a brand new building. But I think in the meantime, the, the things I want to happen are really to have a lot of hard work but at the same time have a lot of fun because we're here to, to enjoy school, we're not here to make school a drudge. So it's work hard, play hard. Sadly, our Year 6 production is coming to an end after an amazing six weeks. During the six weeks, we have interviewed the Year 7 and the Year 10 pupils. We have also interviewed the Moorside teaching staff. We now know what our transition will be like. Thank you for watching our Moorside Leaving video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.